The Insti HCV antibody test is the world's fastest HCV test, producing results in as little as 60 seconds. The test procedure is simple, and the test kit contains all the components required for testing. Instructions for use. Membrane unit. Lancet. Hypet. Alcohol swab. Sample diluent. Color developer. Clarifying solution. All three Insti reagent solutions are color-coded and numbered for easy identification. Wear disposable gloves while handling kit components. Have tissue and a bandage close by if patient bleeds easily. The test must be stored at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius or 35.6 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Before using the test, read the instructions for use to familiarize yourself with Insti and become familiar with universal precautions. Make sure that the testing area is clean and bright. INSTI is intended to be used in a step-by-step -step manner with no pauses or breaks during the testing process. Whole blood specimens collected by finger stick should be tested immediately. Open the INSTI package and remove all contents from the pouch. Tear open the membrane unit pouch at the pre-cut edge and carefully remove the membrane unit without touching the center well. Place the membrane unit on a flat surface in a well-lit area. Make sure the tab of the membrane unit is oriented towards you. For sample identification purposes, the tab of the membrane unit may be labeled with the patient's name or identifier. Use of the workstation is optional. If the workstation is not used, place the membrane unit on a flat surface. INSTI can be used with finger stick blood, venous whole blood, serum specimens, and plasma specimens. Prior to collection, warm the hand by washing in warm water. Ensure hand is fully dry. Lower the hand below heart level before collecting a drop of blood. Massage the finger with a downward motion several times before performing the finger stick. Before using the lancet, Look for a spot on the fingertip that is smooth, not calloused, and away from the fingernail. Finger stick blood collection. Collect finger stick sample using the capillary pipette. Open bottle one and place the bottle on a flat surface with care. Place the cap nearby to recap the bottle after you add the blood. Position the patient's hand in a way that is comfortable for the patient and allows you to easily press his or her finger to collect blood. The hand should be positioned at waist level or lower. Wipe the fingertip with an alcohol swab. Allow finger to dry thoroughly. Massage the patient's finger in one motion towards the tip to allow the blood to move to the surface. The fingertip will be slightly pink. As soon as the finger is dry, twist and pull the blue tip out of the lancet and place the tip aside. The appropriate areas to prick the fingers are indicated. Place the lancet on the side of fingertip. Press hard until you hear a click. Release the patient's finger and immediately dispose the used lancet into a proper sharps container. Do not squeeze blood from the finger until you have the pipette ready in hand for collection. Rub the finger to get a larger round drop of blood. Filling of the capillary pipette is automatic. Do not squeeze the bulb while sampling. Maintain this position until the flow of the sample has reached the fill line and stopped. With INSTI, the first drop of blood does not need to be wiped. Hold the pipette horizontally and carefully touch the tip of the pipette to the large round bead of blood. Hold horizontally and gently, being mindful not to cover the pin-sized hole on the 50 microliters fill line. Add the 50 microliters of blood from the pipette to bottle number one, the sample diluent, by squeezing the pipette bulb. The pipette stem has a pin-sized hole located at the black line. Squeezing the pipette bulb usually expels the blood from the pipette stem. However, if squeezing the bulb does not expel the blood sample into bottle number one, cover the pinhole with gloved fingers and squeeze the bulb again. This should release the sample from the pipette stem. Step number one, sample diluent. Once the sample has been transferred into bottle number one, the sample diluent, twist on cap of bottle one and shake bottle four times. 
Pour all the liquid into the membrane unit. Wait until the liquid disappears. Step number two, color developer. Bottle two, shake bottle four times and pour all the liquid into the membrane unit. You may need to gently tap bottle two to get all the liquid out. Step number three, clarifying solution. Shake bottle four times. Pour all the liquid into the membrane unit. Wait until the liquid disappears. Read the results. Immediately read the result while the membrane is still wet. Do not read the results if more than 60 minutes have elapsed following the addition of Bottle 3 solution. When reading the results, make sure the tab of the membrane unit is orientated towards you. Non-reactive result. One blue control dot that is clearly discernible above any background tint should appear on the membrane. The control dot indicates the test has been performed correctly and a human specimen has been used. Reactive result. Two blue dots visible in the control and test area indicate that the specimen contains hepatitis C antibodies. Following a reactive test result, hepatitis C confirmation testing should be conducted. Invalid result. The test is invalid if there is no control dot or there is no dot on the membrane. An invalid test result means that the test was run incorrectly or insufficient specimen was added. Invalid test results cannot be interpreted. Any invalid test should be repeated with a fresh specimen using a new membrane kit, kit components, and support materials. When finished, throw away the testing kit into the waste bin. The INSTI HCV antibody test is intended for use by personnel in medical facilities, clinical laboratories, emergency care situations, physicians' offices, Voluntary Counseling and Testing VCT programs and other establishments providing healthcare. For more information, please visit us at www.insti.com.